We use these words on a regular basis, breakfast and supper, but do we really know what they really mean? Let's find out. Welcome to the Coffee Mike Show, where our mission is to help you achieve good health by balancing the mind, body, and spirit, and of course, understanding our duty, our success, and our spiritual liberation. So let's join in. And just a disclaimer, this is not medical advice. This is just for educational and um, entertainment purpose. Please do follow up yourself or your due diligence with your practitioners or experts to help you answer your questions. And of course, in the cosmos, we always trust. Supper really comes from the Latin word meaning sup. And basically, it means sip or sipping. And this is what our forefathers literally did. Um, they basically had something light and like a soupy uh, supper in the evenings. And why that was because, of course, they didn't have the electricity, they didn't have the social medias, they didn't have all the social activity that we are uh, surrounded by or we are we have grown up into. So in, in the end, it was just to have a light meal and you know go to sleep. And their biggest meals, of course, were in the day because that's the time the sun was the highest in the day and the sun was the hottest in the day. And of course, the activity that they did in that day was the highest or peak at that time frame in the day, where, whether they were out hunting, whether they were out uh, farming. So, and in, in Ayurveda, it also mentioned where we, uh, I discussed about the fire within to the digestive fires to increase that fire to really increase your metabolism in my previous uh, videos that you can take a look at. And that's where our time of day, our digestive system is the strongest, is in that middle day between 11 till 4, where the sun is the hottest and the sun is at its peak. Our digestive system also is at that peak, meaning our stomach acid, our enzymes are really 100% ready to receive that meal. So we should be having our larger meals during that time of the day. And of course, breakfast really means break fast, breaking your fast the next day. I mean, these are so simple and these are so simple and we use these on a daily basis and we all know this, but we've never tuned in and kind of never understood or followed it through all the time. And everybody is at, um, at fault here. But looking at the contrary to what we do nowadays is we are eating much later. We are eating um, dinner as our biggest meal. And as a matter of fact, that's our main meal. And sometimes we're having even more after dinner, like desserts and stuff. Um, and just to, understand, to make you understand that, you know, the body when it's sleeping, it's in hibernation mode. That means it's trying to shut down everything and start repairing everything. So now if you're giving it all that food at nine and 10 o'clock in the, in, the, in the night, it's not able to do all the repairs and the detoxifying that it should be doing, but managing that blood sugar while you're eating and digesting your food. And what is also happening is at your time of sleep where there's no activity or movement, the excess sugar is turning into fat. And that's where the problem comes in. That's where the weight gain really is coming in. So it's really the, um, the dinner or the supper, the later we are having, the longer it's gonna take for the body to digest. And of course, the more fat you're gonna have stored in, in your system. And remember, the body is recovering at the time when we're sleeping. And that's the main goal of sleep. And that's the main goal uh, of going to bed is for the body to regenerate, to rejuvenate itself and its cells, the liver to start detoxifying and getting ready for the next day or the next meal. So if we bombard it with all these meals and these desserts and the sugar and the alcohol at night, late at night, guess what? you are going to be depositing fat, increasing your blood sugar, and worst of all, the stuff that the liver is trying to get rid of or the intestines are trying to get rid of still remains there because it's not 100% moved over or it's not taken care of 100%. So what we should be doing when fasting really is, it's not about skipping meals. Fasting is generally extending those hours from the time we have our last bite 
at night till the next morning's first bite. And that's what you want to extend as much as possible because you are trying to give that body enough time to digest, enough time to repair, recover, rejuvenate, and of course do, do what it needs to do instead of just digesting the meals every three hours. That it's what's doing all day long and then it ignores everything else, all the viruses, the bacteria, the damages, the aging process. And I'm going to cover a lot more in my other videos where we're talking about the exact hours or the approximate hours or you should be having between your meals. So please look out for that. And thank you for joining in. Uh, this is Cosby Mike. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, or uh, share the videos. And uh, 